Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to share what fits in this bag. So I got this bag earlier this summer when I went to Rome. So I saved over $700 on this bag by buying it there with the VAT. So that was the tax that I was able to get back on this particular bag. So this is the Loewe puzzle bag. Yeah, as you can see, it's in the color black with silver hardware. So yeah, I wanted to share what can fit in this bag and also give you my thoughts on this bag after using it for a few months. So let me just show you what can fit in here. So yeah, as you can see, there's a flap. I'm kind of torn with this flap. So it looks really pretty when it's slouchy like this. So yeah, I'm always kind of like karate chopping it. So just so it looks really nice like that. Yeah, because of this flat surface, I feel like the leather gets a lot of marks on it. And also because it's a black bag, I can see like white marks and I'm constantly like buffing it out. I mean, the leather is durable, so it's definitely not scratching. But also when you open this up, like white marks up there. And also like right here because it's like a flat surface as well. So yeah, I'm getting a lot of marks over here as well. But yeah, I'm not sure what those marks are. But yeah, they do come off when I rub them off. So right there. Yeah, it's just kind of annoying. And especially because it's a black bag, you do definitely see those white marks. So the zipper only goes to the end right there. I really wish it kind of extended beyond because then the opening will be so much bigger. But yeah, it is what it is. So once you actually get things in there, it is pretty roomy. So let me show you what can fit. So I have the mini pochette accessoire. So that definitely fits in there. And I have my compact LV wallet. Yeah, I'm not sure why they don't make this size anymore because I think it's the perfect size. The other ones, I feel they're a bit too big. I can just show you guys with the mini pochette. Very similar. In size so both of these fit in there and I also have my Kindle and this one is the Kindle Oasis so it's a little bit wider so oh so as you can see it fits but also because it is a bit taller yeah the flap isn't going down so it looks like that so far but yeah, let me just move the Kindle to the back and see what that looks like. So here it is in the back. Yeah, so much better. So yeah, so the Kindle Oasis definitely fits. And I have some blotting paper from Dior. Yeah, I love these little blotting tissues for on the go. And that'll fit in there. And I also have this Sephora little pocket mirror that slides open. But also the Dior blotting tissue does have a mirror in there. But anyways, just want to show you what can fit in here. And I've got two lip glosses, the Summer Friday one as well as the Clarins. Yeah, plenty of room. And last but not least, I have a sunglass case. Yeah, there's nothing in there because it's in my car, but yeah, this is the Ray-Ban case. Yeah, as you can see, it fits. But yeah, it's getting quite heavy, you guys. And there it goes. So this does have a back pocket. Let me just grab my phone. So this is the Samsung Flip 5. You guys, I just got this phone recently. Yeah, love it. I'm definitely a convert to the flip phones. Look how tiny it is. And yeah, let's see if it'll fit in the back pocket. Yeah, yeah, so it does fit in the back pocket and yeah, especially with this case, the little ring here is flexible so I can just kind of stick it in there so it doesn't show. So the phone does fit in there and looks like I can zip it as well. Normally what I do is I put like a lip gloss in here just for easy access and just put my phone right in here. Yeah, so there it is. Let me just take the phone out. And it's definitely heavy. But because the Kindle is a little bit taller, it's kind of 
getting in the way. So let me just take out the Kindle and I can show you some mod shots as well. But yeah, so, so yeah, so there is the bag. So yeah, I'm hoping the leather wears well. But yeah, with this bag, I've noticed I'm constantly wiping like this, like bigger surface. I don't know if you guys can see, there's like another white mark right there. But yeah, you guys, that's, so that's really annoying. But otherwise, yeah, a cute bag. Love this top handle and this thicker strap. So this is adjustable. So it's got four holes and I have it set in the middle. So let me just show you guys what it looks like. Yeah, so I got this bag back in June. So yeah, it's still relatively new. But yeah, I have been enjoying using it. And I just love the fact that like there are no logos. Yeah, it doesn't scream luxury. But yeah, the only thing is right there, which is their anagram and it's embossed in the same color. So yeah, nothing sticks out. I just love these puzzle pieces, how they all fit together. Yes, definitely great quality. So my only complaint, you guys, is the markings on the top of this bag. So yeah, maybe if I got like a different color, I wouldn't have to deal with it. See, so yeah, I just love the capacity of this one. I can definitely fit a lot more in here. But yeah, as you fit more in, so the slouch kind of goes away and it'll become more of a rectangular bag, which is fine if I wanted to carry more. But normally I don't carry that much and I do like like the slouchy look so yeah so hopefully you found this video helpful if you did please give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next video